Hallelujah. When I began to pray and I heard that word Jabez, Jabez, Jabez three times, I knew exactly what the Lord was saying. In that statement to me, God was saying, who is available for me to bless? I want to bless somebody and make that person a spectacle, a blessing in ministry that people will sit down and say, ah, it's not jealousy, but my God, you mean God can do this with a man? God can do this with a business? God can do this with the people? Did your Bible not say I and the children that the Lord has given to me? It says we are for signs and for wonders. Do you believe that? I believe this oh, with all my heart that for the rest of your life every week is an episode of signs and wonders through your life and enlarge my coast that by next week someone will come and say apostle look at the doors that open in one week strategic connections strategic opportunities whether in ministry or in business and that thou wouldest bless me enlarge my coast and let your hand be upon me moving me moving me from place to place is that same hand that moves men from may to june it's not time that moves men time can be passing and you are in one place it is the hand that moves you the hand that moves you moves you some of you you are in may now but in the realm of the spirit the truth is that you are still in 2017 you are still in 2018. I, I hope you know that time can pass, but you don't pass with time. You are still remaining there. So physically, you are in 2023, but in the realm of the spirit, the date there that is matched to your life and your reality is many, many years back. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored The only way to explain restoration for you is how they pay workers a real salary. That's the only way I know to help you understand. Have you seen someone that perhaps for 10 years had been old and they were still dragging in court finally the judge gives a verdict and says pay this person back dates the payment from 2010 to 2023 and the institution stands there they don't want to do it but the judge has given his verdict in the name of jesus for certain of you here within the time that we have and I'm, I'm not just joking I'm not entertaining you that God will see from what point Satan started attacking your family and there are things he will carry from there in the name of Jesus Christ some of you it will be before you were even born that the Spirit of God who's listen the Bible says righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne that God will begin to backdate certain prophetic things certain blessings and mantles and graces and open doors hallelujah and there are some of you who have experienced the help of God in many ways but you came for this miracle service so that God will answer the last part of the prayer because the attacks around your life the physical ones are the least because if you know that someone is standing near you you can do something but what if you don't know how will you know that the kiss of judas was a sign of death i know that when an enemy stands with a sword i know he has come to fight but how do you fight someone who came to kiss you don't you know there is another kind of sword that comes from the mouth not from the hands the bible calls it the scourging tongues of men 
Job he said in five things God will deliver you there are arrows that fly by day there are noisome pestilences there are destructions listen please look up I know people that the moment God lifted they woke up one morning and one mysterious pain just when he became a director headache this morning next tomorrow the right eye cannot see in the name of Jesus every covenant every coven every demonic orchestration against your life by fire it goes down this night hear me can I tell you one of the greatest ways that Satan attacks great men is through sickness most of you don't know sickness is hardly a condition of people who are rising in life those who are rising in life hardly fall sick not because they are healthy because at that point sickness as a weapon will not profit the devil listen carefully i hope that we'll have a series on 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 supernatural healing and health and i will teach you something do you notice that most people who have not really made it, Satan will hardly use the weapon of sickness because it does not really profit him. The real assignment of sickness is to bring down great people. Read your Bible. Find out those who were sick in the Bible and you will see Job, the greatest man from the East, when Satan tested him. Are we together now? Yes. The moment people become great, the devil knows that at this point you probably will have security people protecting you so attacking you from that angle will not profit him he knows that probably you have influence there are many things money can do but he knows there is something money cannot do and these fiery darts with all the hell things you see someone who just wake up and they will tell you that there is something growing inside his brain within two weeks it has become the size of a golf ball Are we together now that's why the psalmist said i lay me down and i slept he said i wait for the lord sustain me that means it's one thing to sleep oh, as a great man and it's another thing to wake up because when men sleep many things happen satan comes to plant hold on he he only plants tears among wheat he does not plant tears on an empty farm that means if your life does not have color and nothing is growing there satan does not come to plant anything there he waited until the labor of the farmer was now speaking he waited until the company was rising he waited until the ministry was now blossoming he waited until the children were now becoming teenagers ready to carry the family name aha the moment Satan sees wheat, be careful, he's coming. He's also a farmer, he can farm. I'm saying this so that you can take whatever you want to take. But let me tell you, if it is an attack, that's why we pray for people to be healed. It is more than just showing that a man of God is anointed. There are many, many sicknesses that medical science can deal with it. That is not really the concern, we can pray for you. If you have headache and you can take panadol and you are fine you've made our job easier but we are dealing with the ones that you go to the hospital the demonic headache that does not answer to panadol because that one is not stress that one is is your name being mentioned somewhere that why will this man rise instead of attacking 30 people in that family attack this man and let him die listen in the book of esther in the book of esther sit down for a moment in the book of esther some of you didn't even know you were standing in the book of esther watch this the bible says you saw her man just as a faithful administration an administrator but her man was a wizard her man was not an administrator he was a wizard there was a connection between her man and vashti when vashti left it weakened her man but did not destroy him because her man had won the heart of the king and when you read your Bible, the day they were to strike the nation of Israel, Haman used divination to get the date. They, they, they conjured the elements, elemental forces. What day will it be to strike these people? But then they said, okay, now that we have it, who and who should we kill? Let me tell you what, what Haman's plan was. Haman's plan was first to start with Mordecai 
then after he's he's done with mordecai don't think esther will be spared esther would have been the next after esther then the king himself will be the final one he was already eyeing the king because when the king asked him and said what should be done to this man he said uh-huh let him wear the king's robe ride on the king's horse what else is left it's only to sit on the king's palace that means he was eyeing that i'm coming let me first finish with her man let me show you how satan attacks he does not attack the jews like that he first goes to mordecai because it was through mordecai esther came then when he's done with mordecai he would destroy esther then destroy the king then become king so when you see the devil wanting to strike the family he's not stupid he will not come and strike everyone there is a way of gauging people's advancement in the spirit what one person can we hit in this family that will be the same thing as hitting everybody that's why some of you did not prepare to come for this miracle service but god pushed you by his spirit and said come oh you don't know what june is going to be like come and sit down and access grace let these devils be driven out oh we have been anointed to do this listen let me tell you in the name of jesus not one strange spirit will be spared tonight you hear of the testimonies that happen here listen testimonies happen when the spirits that are behind these tragedies give way are we together now protect me Jesus in teaching us what we call the Lord's Prayer he said our Father which art in heaven hallowed be your name he said your kingdom come your will be done in F as it is in heaven then he says give us this day our daily bread next prayer he says lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil he didn't say deliver me it's a corporate thing if you pray for deliverance for yourself alone tonight you are selfish deliver us because in africa if you are free alone you are not truly free do you agree with me deliver us from evil deliver us who are the us my company my family the ministry deliver us from evil deliver us from evil I've had the honor and the privilege of praying for people and sometimes even though I've seen this for many years I am in shock and wonder at how easy it is Satan can bring down great people if there is no spiritual and human force in partnership with God that stands as a defense for them you see you can rejoice and say my business is doing well go and read your Bible and see how sudden it is that men go down are we together the worst of is when satan tries and nothing can happen as you sleep that's the end of it i remember a lady who sent me a text some time ago that she was sleeping in the night and physically she felt physically what she told me a hand came and held her neck you know how you are strangling someone and she was gasping for breath till she woke up like that shouting jesus jesus and nothing happened and she woke up literally felt a presence and it left What do you think demons are doing now? If you were a demon, just as an example, please. If, if you were a demon, what will you be doing now to be efficient? Just think. Will you be, you are, yes, you are sent to everybody. But if you were a demon and you want to be productive, what is the wisest approach? To waste your time running around everybody on the streets? Or to settle down and fashion weapons? The Bible says no weapon fashioned. Do you know what it means to fashion? To fashion means to study what you will use that weapon for. So if you were a demon, will you just see someone on the street and start following him? What is your name? Can I attack you? No. You find out. Okay, I have an assignment to attack 10,000 people. But out of those 10,000 people, who are the top three that I can bring down first to make my work easy? It is always the strategy of Satan. He looks for the strongest and brings down. 
that means if you came here tonight it's because the hand of God has perceived you as the strongest somewhere that the devil wants to attack and God is bringing you some of you for the sake of your family members so that you are strengthened you are delivered empowered and sent back as an agent with fire and with grace you believe this and let me tell you we're going to do a very quick walk tonight if there is no time to take testimonies no problem but I I my heart is burdened because when the Lord told me Jabez that means at the end of it honor and glory is what must come out of your life this night <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the Lord don't sit back and allow the devil wreck your destiny wreck the destinies of those around you and say it does not matter i just know that one day go better god is a good god he will change things the bible says jabez cried unto the lord when you become passive you become very very sorry for want of word become very um very organized there is there is a desperation that you must carry the desperation of hannah the desperation of gideon the desperation of Jabez have you seen a woman going to give birth and she's interested in her makeup that just when the child is about to come and says sorry I, I I just need to make sure that you know this one is in place can I have a last look at myself huh have you seen that happen there is a desperation the woman with the issue of blood said this is not the issue of shame i'm tired of this nonsense i will cry it i will touch the head of his garment let me be punished later but for now there are some of you who are not yet angry enough sincerely i'm telling you you are still organized this saying well the poverty situation is not so bad at least we can borrow money now you are owing more than 10 million it started from 10,000 naira and the devil is an expert in growing it before you know it you see that your whole destiny has been given to the company you are owing is that not what happened to the wife of the sons of the prophet remember you think that she started by they were going to take her children as collateral your children there does not just represent your physical child. Whatever it is that can make for continuity of your destiny. Satan can use things around your life and force you to carry your future and pay for today with it. I'm, I'm, I'm planting a holy anger in you so that when it's time to pray and it's time to receive, you will do what Jabez did. Tonight is not just to shout amen. My job is to release grace with you and stand in faith with you. But you have a responsibility for God's sake to pray in holy anger. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Have you wondered? Why did God really create you? He created you for a specific purpose. And that purpose can truly be discovered in his world. Join us as we journey through the word of the Lord by his servant. Apostle Joshua Selman on Reflector Hub TV as we bring you daily spirit, discovery spirit, inspiring content and the word of the Lord on this platform. Don't forget to subscribe and also share with your loved ones and family members. Stay tuned.